Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to the discussion on the subject engineering mechanics. Under engineering mechanics, we are solving a problem on area moment of inertia. This is the third solved problem we are discussing under area moment of inertia. Now we will enter into the problem. The given problem is determine the moment of inertia of the shaded area with respect to the x axis. For that, what we will do? We will compute the moment of inertia of the bounding rectangle and half circle with respect to x axis. This is the x axis. That is the moment of inertia of the shaded region is to be computed about the x axis. For that, what we will do? That we will see now. In order to obtain the moment of inertia of the shaded region about the x axis, what we will do? We will subtract the moment of inertia of the semicircle about the x axis from the moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x axis. Now we will revise the formula used for finding the moment of inertia of a rectangle as well as semicircle. The moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base axis that is x is equal to ix which is equal to 1 by 3 bh cube and moment of inertia of a rectangle about its centradial axis say x dash that is ix dash is equal to 1 by 12 bh cube. In the present problem we are going to use the first formula that is moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base that is x axis that is ix is equal to 1 by 3 bh cube. The moment of inertia of a semicircle about its base axis that is x axis is equal to ix which is equal to 1 by 8 into pi r to the power of 4 where r is the radius of the semicircle and moment of inertia of the semicircle about its own centroidal x axis that is x dash that is i x dash is equal to 0.11 into r to the power of 4. In the present problem, we are going to use the second formula. Now, based on the above formulae, we will find the moment of inertia of a shaded region about the x axis. The moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base that is x axis that is ix is equal to 1 by 3 into bh cube. Here breadth of the rectangle is 240 and height of the rectangle is 120. Substitute b as well as h value in this equation that is ix1 is equal to 1 by 3 into bh cube which is equal to 1 by 3 into 240 into 120 cube. After calculating this we will get 138.24 into 10 power 6 millimeter to the power of 4. The moment of inertia of a rectangle about its base that is x axis is equal to 138.24 into 10 power 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Now we will find the moment of inertia of a semicircle about x axis. For that, first we will find the y coordinate value of the centroid of a semicircle. Here the y coordinate value of a centroid of a semicircle that is yc is equal to 4r by 3 pi. Here r is equal to 90 mm. After substituting r is equal to 90 mm in the equation yc is equal to 4r by 3 pi, then yc value that is y coordinate value of the centroid of a semicircle is equal to 38.2 millimeters. That is the centroidal axis of a semicircle that is xc is at a distance 38.2 millimeters from the diameter edge of a semicircle whereas the diameter edge of a semicircle is at a distance 120 mm from the x axis. Now we will find the perpendicular distance between centroidal axis of a semicircle and x axis which is equal to 120 minus 38.2 which is equal to 81.8 mm that is here this is the centroidal xc axis and this is the 
x axis our objective is to find the area moment of inertia of a semi circle about the x axis for this we'll use parallel axis theorem here x axis as well as x c2 axis are parallel to each other with a perpendicular distance of 81.8 mm the moment of inertia of a semi circle about the x axis that is ix is equal to ixc2 plus a into dy square here the formula used for finding the moment of inertia of a semi circle about its centroidal axis is 0.11 r to the power of 4 and area of the semi circle is pi r square by 2 and dy value is 81.8 that is distance between two axes that is distance between xc2 and x axis then substitute r is equal to 90 mm in this equation after that we will get ixc2 is equal to 0.11 into 90 to the power of 4 plus pi into 90 square by 2 into 81.8 square after calculating this we will get ixc2 is equal to 92.35 into 10 power 6 mm to the power of 4 now we will find the moment of inertia of the shaded region about the x axis for that we will subtract the moment of inertia of the semi circle about the x axis from moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x axis here ix1 is the moment of inertia of the rectangle about the x axis and ix2 is the moment of inertia of the semi circle about the x axis after substituting ix1 as well as ix2 values in this equation we will get ix is equal to 45.89 into 10 power 6 mm to the power of 4 that is the moment of inertia of the shaded region about the x axis is equal to 45.89 into 10 power 6 mm to the power of 4 this is the required answer for the given problem if you have any doubts or queries to write it down below comment section i will be very happy to answer it visit again for more videos on engineering mechanics using the links provided under the description of this video keep learning and knowledge sharing stay blessed Thank you